Good morning, welcome to the island of Sodor, where me and all my friends live. My name is Thomas the Tank Engine, and I'll be your guide today. I'm going to show you all the many adventures that we've had here on the island of Sodor. So come along now and hop on board my coaches and I'll show you around. You see, these two coaches of mine are named Annie and Clarabelle. They're really nice. I always take them up and down my branch line. We get along really well. Now hurry along, I'll show you some of my other friends on the island. This is my friend Edward, the number two blue engine. He is old and caring, and he has his own branch line. He runs the line with some of the other engines like Boko, Donald, and Douglas. He also works here at Wellsworth Station. That's how we like to call it, Edward Station. He has lots of adventures on the island lately, like having some jam breaks and a piece of bumpy track on his branch line. We'll see more of Edward later. That is Henry, the number three green engine. He also has been on the island of Sora for many years. He has a big heart, but can be sometimes mean when Gordon is around. He also pulls a special train of fish called the Flying Kipper. He has many adventures too, like getting into trouble with Gordon for getting a brake van and helping out after a storm on the island. Next to Henry is Gordon, the number four big engine. He thinks that he is the most important engine on the island because he pulls the important express. He also has a dislike for diesel since they took over the mainland railways. He gets into lots of trouble, like when Sir Topham Hat scolded him for going too fast, or when he got tricked into taking cattle, and especially when he makes fun of Boko, the diesel engine. Even though Gordon causes some trouble, we still love him all the same. On the other side of Henry is James, the number 5 red engine. He is a mixed traffic engine, which means he can pull both passengers and goods. His temper is as fiery as his paintwork, and sometimes causes him some trouble, like when he got stuck in Henry's tunnel, or when he made fun of Donald for his heritage, and especially when he went down a bad bit of track on Edward's branch line. He also gets into some trouble with the naughtiest trucks on the island, but James always seems to learn his lesson. Let's go ahead down my branch line and see what friends we can find that I work with every day. That is Percy, the number six little green engine. He is cheeky and silly, and he's one of my best friends. He usually pulls the mail at night, works at the docks, and helps me out on my branch line. He got a little too cheeky one time when he accidentally dumped some mail into a river, and the time when he made fun of Mavis, and when James had some problems with some naughty trucks. But the worst was when everyone thought that Percy had haunted jobs. Now follow me to the end of my branch line at the Anifa Quarry. This is Toby, the number seven tram engine. He is the only tram engine currently on Sodor. He is old and came to the railway to help me on my branch line. He also has a coach named Henrietta. They both do many things together, like the time when Henrietta had to go to the works after an accident and helping Lady Hat with a birthday party for her husband. Next to them is Mavis. She is a small young diesel who works at the quarry. She can be feisty and has some adventures of her own, like when she had Percy's haunted jobs and when she saved Percy from falling off a bridge. Let's now go to another branch line and see who's there. This is Duck, the number 8 Great Western Engine. He is very kind and he doesn't like to put up with the bigger engine's nonsense. He runs the reopened Arsdell branch line that they call the Little Western. He works the line with Oliver and sometimes Donald and Douglas. He got a crack in his boiler and luckily it saved him from an accident with James. He also once ran to the ocean, kind of like Percy did.
These two are Donald and Douglas, the number 9 and 10 twin engines. They do everything from freight to passengers, branch line to the main line, and even to shunting. They usually help out on Edwards the Ducks branch lines. They like to have fun and pull a few wheels. One time James made fun of their heritage, and they also had the first twin races. Let's go and see another great western engine. This is Oliver, the number 11 Great Western Engine. He was saved from scrap by Douglas a few years ago and now works happily on Duck's branch line. He is kind but can be restless. Behind him is Toad, the brake van, who also was saved with Oliver. They go on lots of adventures together like helping with Percy's mail train and helping to fix a bridge after my own accident. There are the troublesome trucks. They are very rude and cause lots of trouble for us engines. By them are the coaches. There are lots of them. We've got my coaches and Toby's coaches, but we also have Gordon's Express coaches, Branch Line coaches, Orange coaches, and even the old coaches. Plus we have the breakdown train that we use after some engine has an accident. We also have lots of other rolling stock too. Over there is Sir Topham Hatt. He is the controller of the railway. He likes to act as a father to us engines. He always takes charge of a situation. He does a lot of work for us and we're very happy to have him. That's Bertie the Bus. He's been my friend for many years. He works by my branch line and he takes passengers to places that me, Annie, and Clarabelle can't. Sometimes he thinks that the road is better than the rail, but that's his opinion. One time he got stuck on a crossing and I had to help him out. He later helped out Caroline at the Vigor's garden party. Next to Bertie is Terrence the tractor. He is very kind. He works on a field beside my branch line. I like to whistle to him every time I puff past. He has a few run-ins too, like the one time with George and Steamroller. This is Trevor the Traction Engine. He was saved from scrap by Edward the Blue Engine. He is old and likes us engines. He helped out in planning the Vickers Garden Party too. We all enjoy Trevor. Metropolitan Diesel Electric Type 2. He is one of the nicest diesels on the island of Sodor. He helps out on Edward's branch line. He also pulls mainline goods trades like Henry, Donald, and Douglas. One time though, he did take the express, but that's another story. These are the most mischievous twins on the whole island. They are Bill and Ben, the China Clay Twins. They enjoy pulling lots of pranks on the other engines. This leads them into trouble, like one time with an inspector who almost sent them away, or the time when Bill and the coaches went down a hill really fast. They tease a little too much, in my opinion. Do you hear that up there? That's Harold the Helicopter! He has helped out on Sodor for many years. He is kind, but can be rude when it comes to the railways versus air. He helps find people who are in trouble, and sometimes delivers the mail. 
This sometimes causes an argument between him and Percy. These little engines here are the narrow gauge engines. They are Scarloe, Reneus, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Rusty, Duncan, Duke, and Bertram. They all are fun. Scarloe and Reneus have been on Sodor for over a hundred years. They are very old. Then there is Peter Sam and Sir Handel who came to help when Scarloe and Reneus were rushed off their wheels. They have been on Sodor for a long time too. Then after Scarloe had to go to the works, Rusty and Duncan came to help. Rusty maintains the railway and does odd jobs, and Duncan can be a bit rude. There is also Duke, who used to work on the Mid-Soda Railway with Sir Handel and Peter Sam, back when they were called Stuart and Falcon. He was lost after the railway closed, but he was found and now works here. Don't you worry, we'll see more of them later. But first we are going to see all the adventures with me and my friends on the standard gauge tracks. Well, that's it for today. I hope you liked the ride and I hope you get to see more soon. Stop by again and don't forget to subscribe. Next time on Thomas and Friends, when Gordon is again being a speed demon just to prove Henry wrong, will Sir Topham Hatt put a stop to it? Find out next time in Don't Be Quick.